The key technologies that we see driving change in the enterprise are part of what IDC calls the third platform, focusing on four key technologies, uh, mobile, cloud, big data and social, which it really represents the new era of IT. I think that probably one thing that truly surprises me and has surprised a lot of people is the, the rapid uptake of cloud computing as, a, as an alternative to conventional enterprise resources. There is that understanding in the industry that the old and traditional ways of doing things are not good enough anymore. As they go towards the next level of digital transformation, they have the inclusion of mobile, big data and social as an engagement and analysis tools and cloud as the underlying architecture for them. Now as they go through this, they've got to understand what does it mean from a process and change management perspective. I think it really represents an example of the new type of IT structure uh, that, that needs to be put in place to deal with the market dynamics that are evolving so rapidly. With these transformational projects, there has been a push to support open source in the dev test cycle. Any effort to make the environment simpler to install, simpler to operate, and simpler to integrate will pay off in terms of customer satisfaction, getting more widgets built with your technology out there in the market. Well, the notion of Linux containers um, has really kind of emerged in 2013 and it's establishing itself in 2014. So Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 um, does enable a higher level of automation and it makes it simpler from a management perspective for customers to actually deploy their applications. Specifically speaking on the containerization element which Red Hat has taken to at the next level. Having said that, uh, there are a couple of things which they must ensure to evaluate. The first thing is on the migration journey, second is on the stability of the containers and third thing is the concurrency of application workload which these containers overall under Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 that they can support. What these application containers allow you to do is to dramatically uh, drive up the density of the virtual machines that run on a, on a physical host. Well, OpenStack seems to have emerged as one of the top players in the private cloud and the hybrid cloud and, and also in, in the public cloud market from service providers. Red Hat has become uh, the top contributor to OpenStack. Red Hat's open source orientation um, and its, and its uh, inherent openness gives customers confidence in terms of their longer term investments and not only confidence from, in term, from Red Hat but the community as well. I think that's an important point. What has also been notable in the financial services industry in the past couple of years is that community testing has made uh, open source more reliable and more secure. The capabilities like in-place upgrades, uh, uh, server profiles, and vastly improved monitoring and you know real-time monitoring data collection and remote management capabilities and APIs all of those things uh, speak to a, a momentum to reduce uh, operating expense and make the whole installation deployment uh, you know, easier for the people who have to do it and commensurately more convenient for the people who have to consume it. So you know, we really think that there will be interest uh, in, in the new version both now and, and in the future.